all of a sudden we had a huge column of smoke. The conditions were right, it was hot, it was dry, and that column built up huge in the sky. And I remember driving back into town that evening and the column collapsed and everything behind the ridge up here that you could see coming in was bright red and it was terrifying. Um, I live in town, my family and friends are there. In regard to work, we're responsible for managing 9,600 acres up here. My whole world was shaken that night. We're standing up on the Cleolum Ridge, which is managed by the Nature Conservancy, but we're looking out over the Tianway Community Forest. Um, this is where the Jolly Mountain Fire started, and you can see areas of burn back there that actually look like cloud cover. It looks like shadow from clouds, but it's not. It's, uh, it's the burnt area and the extent of the fire. We made it through the Jolly Mountain Fire without any structure losses, and thankfully nobody lost their lives but it really transformed the way that I look at a healthy forest. I had an image in my mind's eye that, that forests, uh, I really like dense forests, and um, I liked the way my trails wove through that canopy. And through this experience, I realized that the forests here in central Washington uh, are no longer natural. They're no longer healthy. We've stopped fire, fire is a natural part of this ecosystem, but we've removed it from the landscape. And so we've allowed our forest to become incredibly dense. The 2017 Cascadia Trex came to this community before the Jolly Mountain Fire was even officially out. It was, the threat was diminished, it wasn't completely contained, but we were still literally catching our breath from that. And we brought the news to the community that we really wanted to bring prescribed fire in took a deep breath and said, you know, I don't like the idea of bringing fire back in. It's been a traumatic summer, but more than that, I don't like the idea of another Jolly Mountain on my doorstep next year. So people engaged, people became part of the program, and they emerged from that feeling charged and feeling proud to bringing that kind of work here into our community.